Alright, so today uh, I want to do a video on using StatCrunch and the normal calculator. I had a student who uh, requested uh, how to find a z-score. So StatCrunch actually has a lot of very cool features um, that you may not be aware of if you're using the MyStatLab, it's integrated in. Um, and I feel like there are times when it's a lot better than the calculator, especially for a lot of the visualization, which you'll see. So what I'm going to do here is, um, let's say, and this was the student's particular uh, question, let's say they give you a percentage, okay, and let's say they want to know what the lowest 25% is. So I'm going to put the 25% in there. And what they want you to figure out, and I'm going to put the intermediate step in here because a lot of professors like you to find the z-score. So given a percentage, what's the z-score? And then given the z-score, what is the data value for that? Okay. Um, now, it could be all kinds of things. All right. Uh, but what you will need to find the data value is the mean and the standard deviation. And I'm going to show you that here in just a second. All right. So now, given the lowest 25%, what's the z-score and what's the data value that goes with that? Well, it turns out that if you tap on the stat button, that there are calculators here, and one of the calculators is the normal calculator. I love this calculator, okay, because it has a great visualization tool um, that goes with it. And you'll notice it has a place for the mean and it has a place for the standard deviation. It has a place for the data value and it has a place for the probability. Okay. And the probability really is this converted decimal point. What what is the probability that I'm gonna find twenty five percent of the data or lower? Okay. So this is super nice. Now the very cool thing about this is you can plug in a data value like um, oh like one and you're gonna get that 84 percent okay and here's what's super cool right if you do the between so between negative one and one is 68 percent of the data and you're like oh that's that empirical rule and of course if I go from negative two to two you can actually visualize 95% of the data from negative 2 to 2 standard deviations. And of course, if you go from 3 to 3, you'll get the 99.7% of the data from the empirical rule. And, it, and you can see basically the whole curve is red. So that was the between function. So here's the standard function. Now what's also cool is instead of plugging in a data value, what you can do is you can plug in the percentage. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and find out what the lowest 25% is. Now how do I know that this is the lowest 25%? Well this is less than and it's shaded to the left, right? So these are the less than. And so the z-score that I get, the cutoff value is this negative um, 0.6745. And I'm going to round it to four decimal places because that's a lot of <clears throat> the uh, data there. Oh, that's a common practice, especially for my stat lab. Sorry. All right. Now, let's say you wanted to find the greatest 10%, right? So I'm going to plug in 10%. Oops, I forgot to put it in over here. Okay, I'm going to plug in that 10%. Now, this is the lowest 10%, and I can see it's the lowest, and what I really wanted was the highest 10%. So I'm going to change this to this. Oh, no, look, it's shaded up this way. And so, let's see. Now, that's the highest 10%, right? That's the highest 10%. And you can see it's shaded off to the right. Super nice. So no need to convert it to 90% and then have it shade. And here it is, 1.2816. 1 1.2816, right? From right, from right here. Okay. Um, and so we could do a couple more. Um, we could do 65%. Uh, 
uh, but I want to do the lowest 65% and there it is so it's 0.3853 oh and this was 65% okay now how do I actually get the data value here okay well I have to convert this z-score to a data point now another nice thing about um, StatCrunch is that here what you can do is you can actually compute an expression and you can exp compute an expression for this whole column alright what I want to do is build it and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that z-score and build a function up here okay and so basically what you need is the z-score is going to get multiplied by the standard deviation so let's say I want the standard deviation to be 50 and then to that what we need to add is always the mean okay so let's say the mean is a thousand okay just you know because we got a standard deviation of 50 let's make it a thousand right so here's my mean here's my standard deviation I multiply the standard deviation by the z-score and that's gonna give me the actual data value All right. oh and it actually computes it in a different column so that's okay but there it is there's the 96 there's the 1000 and then there's the 1000 1064 and 1019 right and there's my new column okay now here's the super cool thing about uh, stack Crunch. you don't actually have to find the z-score now you 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 may need to for your professor but to actually find the data value um, really all you need to do is actually plug the mean 1000 in plug the standard deviation 50 in and then plug in whatever percentage you want for us we wanted the lowest 25 percent and I hit compute and it actually tells me that it's the 96.2755 right and so we're off just oh not at all alright so there it is um, and so that's the data value that we got 96.27551 that's the data value we got from here and of course then we wanted the highest 10 percent so I switched that to 10 percent like this and I hit compute and there it is and there's my 1064 uh, point zero seven seven six right rounded to two decimal places I'm guessing I didn't have to do that maybe I could do it a little differently um, but there it is right and then of course uh, for the lowest 65 percent I'm gonna switch this around again and I'm gonna go ahead and put 65 percent in and compute and then there's the 1019.226 so there you go so this is a way of actually using StatCrunch for a value to find the probability for the probability to find the value to calculate the z-score and to actually use a computation in StatCrunch so a lot of things that you can do with uh, with this program I think the visualization tool is nice and that makes us happy